Bushy. And I'm Joy. Here today we're reading from Daniel 2, 25 to 49. Ariok took Daniel to the king at once and said, I have found a man among the exiles from Judah who can tell the king what his dream means. The king asked Daniel, also called Belshazzar, Are you able to tell me what I saw in my dream and interpret it? Daniel replied, no wise man, enchanter, magician or diviner can explain to the king the mystery he has asked about. But there is a God in heaven who reveals mysteries. He has shown King Nebuchadnezzar what will happen in days to come. Your dream and the visions that pass through your mind as you were lying on your bed are these. As your majesty was lying there, your mind turned to things to come and the revealer of mysteries showed you what is going to happen. As for me, this mystery has been revealed to me, not because I have greater wisdom than anyone else alive, but so that your majesty may know the interpretation and that you may understand what went through your mind. Your majesty looked, and there before you stood a large statue, an enormous, da dazzling statue, awesome in appearance, the head of the statue was made of pure gold, its chest and arms of silver, its belly and thighs of bronze, its legs of iron, its feet partly of iron and partly of baked clay. While you were watching, a rock was cut out, but not by human hands. It struck the statue on its feet of iron and clay and smashed them. Then the iron, the clay, the bronze, the silver and the gold were all broken to pieces and became like chaff on a thrashing floor in the summer. The wind swept them away without leaving a trace, but the rock that struck the statue became a huge mountain and filled the whole earth. This was the dream and now we will interpret it to the king. Your Majesty, you are the King of Kings, the God of Heaven, has given you dominion and power and might and glory. In your hands he has placed all mankind and the beasts of the fields and the birds in the, in the sky. Wherever they live, he has made you ruler over them all. You are that head of gold. After you, another kingdom will arise, inferior to yours. Next, a third kingdom, one of bronze, will rule over the whole earth. Finally, there will be a fourth kingdom, strong as iron, for iron breaks and smashes everything, and as iron breaks things to pieces, so it will crush and break all the others, just as you saw that the feet and the toes were partly of baked clay and partly of iron, so this will be a divided kingdom. Yet, it will have some of the strength of iron in it, even as you saw iron mixed with clay, as the toes were partly iron and partly clay, so this kingdom will be partly strong and partly brittle. And just as you saw the iron mixed with baked clay, so the people will be a mixture and will not remain united any more than iron mixes with clay. In that time of the kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom that will never be destroyed, nor will it be left to another people. It will crush all the kingdoms and bring them to an end, but it will itself endure forever. For this is the meaning of the wisdom, vision of the rock cut out of the mountain, but not by human hands, a rock that broke the iron, the bronze, the clay, the silver and the gold to pieces. The great God has shown the king what will take place in the future. The dream is true and the interpretation is trustworthy. Then King Nebuchadnezzar fell prostrate before Daniel and paid him honour and ordered that an offering of incense be presented to him. The king said to Daniel, Surely your God is the God of all gods and the Lord of kings and a revealer of mysteries, for you are able to reveal this mystery. There ends the reading. And we would love to wish all the mothers a very happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Hi, Baron Duda Community Church. How is everybody? Um, I hope this finds you well. And I just want to send all my love to everyone and uh, 
some encouragement and strength to the parents at home or grandparents at home that are now doing at home school learning um, or teaching. Um, struggling slightly with that but learning a lot so I'm looking forward to things getting back to normal and um, school going back and yeah soon seeing each other face to face more often. So today I am reading Colossians chapter 1 verse 24 um, to chapter 2 verse 5. Now I rejoice in what I am suffering for you, and I fill up in my flesh what is still lacking in regard to Christ's afflictions for the sake of his body, which is the church. I have become its servant by the commission God gave me to present to you the word of God in its fullness, the mystery that has been kept hidden for ages and generations, but is now disclosed to the Lord's people. To them, God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. He is the one we proclaim, admonishing and teaching everyone with all wisdom, so that we may present everyone fully mature in Christ, to this end, I strenuously contend with all the energy Christ so powerfully works in me. I want you to know how hard I am contending for you and for those in Laodicea and for all who have not met me personally. My goal is that they may be encouraged in heart and united in love so that they may have their so that they may have the full riches of complete understanding in order that they may know the mystery of God, namely Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I tell you this so that no one may deceive you by fine-sounding arguments. For though I am absent from you in body, I am present with you in spirit, and delight to see how disciplined you are and how firm your faith in Christ is.